Hello friends and welcome to my channel. Today I thought it would be fun to show you all the vintage items that I got for Christmas from my hubby. He let me pick out my own presents, which is super fun for me. So are you ready to see what I got? Let's get started. Most of the items that my hubby got me for Christmas came from the Majestic Turnaround. If it's different, I'll let you know. I found these two little trees. I don't know what they're made out of. I guess it's a real light wood. And on the back, they have the sawtooth hangers. So I could hang them on the wall or I could just lean them up in my decor. And I just thought these were darling. I found this little Santa. And he does make music, which I won't play because I don't want to get a copyright strike. Actually, I checked and he doesn't play music. So I'm going to put this little blurb in and let you hear what he says. So he lights up and he talks. But he's super adorable, very light. And I think that he will be cute either on a shelf or on my tiered tray. I also found this. I just love it. It's a vintage Santa candle. You know I love Santas and I, you know I love my candles. I would never burn it. But look at his cute little face. So I'm looking forward to decorating with that next year. Lately, I've been drawn to boxes of all types, and I found this wooden box. Hmm. Oh, huh. There's more stuff inside here I forgot about. Ooh, yeah. Okay, let me start over. I saw the purple tissue paper peeking out. It's got a mirror on it, and then down inside, there's this area. So I'm just super excited about using that in my craft room. I found this toy. Do you remember these at all? And I was disappointed. I didn't realize that it was broken. It doesn't close up. But I still like it and I thought it would be cool to display like this because Santa is around the outside and then there's a little snowman inside. Can you see him? So I'll probably just display this on a shelf somewhere on, or on a tiered tray. Alrighty, this I had my eye on for a while. I just think it's so cute. This was from my friends John and Jason's booth, and I picked that up, picked it out myself for on the tree. Just a cute little elf ornament. And also, every time I went to the Majestic Turnaround, I saw these adorable little Santa ornaments. Let's see if you can see them. Tell you what, I'll take them out of the bag. It's time. Okay, they say made in Japan. Let's see if they all have their little, oh, one of them has a tag. Yeah, but I don't know if you can read that, but it says made in, oops, Japan. And these are just so cute. I think they're all Oh, they're all different. I didn't realize that. Okay, let's look at them one by one. This one has his hands up in the air. And these can either go on my regular big Christmas tree, or I can put them with some other vintage ornaments on my silver little Christmas tree. Here he has one hand up in the air like he's waving. And then the last one, hmm, it looks like he's holding his beard. <laughs> I'm not sure where his hands are supposed to be, but I can figure that out when I get ready to use them. So I did pick up, pick out those. And then this item I will be using to decorate next. You can probably see I still have my Christmas decor up. I've been really sick. 
So I'm ready to get out the Christmas decor, take it out, take it away, and decorate with snowmen. And I'm also going to be putting up my Valentine's Day. So this will go up next. Look how darling this is. You can see on the back how it was made. I don't know my needlepoint from, what's the other one? Counter cross stitch, I have no idea. But obviously somebody handmade it and they did an excellent job. So I can't wait to use this for my winter decor. All right, and then I'm gonna show you a bunch of grab bags that I picked out and then at the end, I will put in footage like I usually do where I spread everything out on the floor and give you a video of it. So these were in a particular booth that I absolutely love her stuff. She made up these darling little grab bags. Now, I know you won't be able to see it until the end, but I just wanted to show you how many bags I got. There's the second one. Here's the third one. It's got some jingle bells in. And then the last one here. So I will take all of that out and show you. And then that was everything that I picked out at the Majestic Turnaround. And then my hubby surprised me with three items from, let me try to remember the name of the store. It's one I've taken you to many times and it's in Hartville and I can't think of the name of it right now. So I will put that, I'll put a little blurb up here of the name of the store. And then I can also put the information in the description box for you. I highly recommend this store. So we were shopping together one day and he went back the next day and bought me this. It's in box and it says West Clock Travel Alarm. Let's take a look at this beauty. I was very surprised. The back has a flip down portion like this, and then it's able to stand up. If you don't know, I love travel alarms and I love old clocks too. I like them both. I love them both. So I was very tickled to get this. I don't have anything like this. And so it's gonna be a great addition to my collection. And then since he charged this purchase, he had to up the ante just a little bit to be able to have enough stuff to make the minimum. So he knows that I love these old blocks. And do you remember when I bought one with a deer on? So he got me another deer block and that has a D on it. And then I thought this was very, very thoughtful. He found me a block that says nest for my blessed nest with an N. Wasn't that sweet? If you've never seen these blocks, they hinge together. And I have my dad's blocks from when he was a little boy. And then they were passed down to my brother to play with and then passed down to me. So. I love these and it's not something that you can find just anywhere. Here's just an example of how I use my blocks when I'm decorating. This is the shelf in my kitchen in case you missed my Christmas home tour. Okay, I also have two items that I've already put in my decor that I want to show you as well. So I'm gonna take you on location and show you those two items and then I'll be showing you what's in my grab bags. Here's the item that I picked out. This I had before and I found this at the Majestic Turnaround. It's either a salt or a pepper shaker. I can never tell the difference. And it was made in Japan. And I didn't even remember at the time or think about it that these two would look rather cute together, but don't you think they do? Here's the last gift that I picked out, and oh my goodness, I had my eyes on these for such a long time. I just love them, but I didn't want to splurge. They were rather pricey, and so I picked those out for myself for Christmas. Don't they look cute there with my globe? And then I also have the choir kids that my grandma made, so I thought that was a really great theme there all together on top of my armoire in the living room. Here is bag number one. 
I have a couple bottle brush trees here. Let's put those together. And then this adorable flocked Santa with a gift. It looks like he was on a pick at one time. And I'm assuming this is a little napkin ring, but I thought that since I don't use napkin rings, it would be super cute to just use as a display. And here's an old vintage Christmas card. It says season's greetings. Let's look at that inside. Bringing best wishes for the holidays. And then I don't know what these are called, but I think they're to put around your lights on the tree. Maybe those big bulbs like from when I was a kid and then it made it shine brighter. If you know anything about that, you can let me know. And I put the duplicates together. So there was like three of these and two of these, two of these and two of these. And then there was one of these and one of these, but they're just old fashioned vintage tags. I thought those were super cute and I'll have to decide how I'm going to use those. If I'm going to use them on presents or if I'm going to display them. So if you have any thoughts on that, let me know in the comments below. And then this was super cute. It's a box of MK Hostess birthday candles. And I just thought this would be super cute in my kitchen since my kitchen is yellow. Maybe if I make a birthday tiered tray or just have it out around my birthday or somebody's birthday, something like that. So that was bag number one. Here is what was included in bag number two. I have this adorable little bottle brush tree that's pink, which I think is so cute. And then this is the type of bulb we had on my Christmas tree when I was a little girl. So that'll be cute just to tuck in somewhere for decor. And then this, I've never had anything like this before, but um, Tarnished Treasures talks about something that spun and I think this might be what that is I'm not sure so if you know let me know in the comments I don't have anything like that then I have this little wreath that has a bell at the top and I guess it's it would be a bottle brush wreath but it's really flattened compared to most of the ones that I have I have one sort of like that that my daughter gave me I'll insert a picture of that here. Here's the wreath that my daughter gave me that the little one reminded me of. They're that flatter wreath, very flat. Then there's five different tags. I think these are super cute. Look how darling. And this one always got me when I was little. My mom actually had some like this that said, do not open till December 25th. And it was like, oh no, I have to wait till Christmas. <laughs> Let's look at this one. That one's very unique. I've never seen one like that. And then right here, there's two packages of sequins. I have no idea what I will do with those, but I sure do appreciate the old packaging and the graphics on it. They're rather pretty, but if you have any ideas on what I could use those for, let me know in the comments below. Here's what was in bag number three. They have these jingle bells. They were marked 59 cents and they were from a store close to my house called Ben Franklin. And I am not sure, but I think I will probably just keep these on the card and display as is. Would you do the same or would you craft with them? This card is rather lovely and it says, hope you have a very Merry Christmas. Now, I do have some more of these in this bag and then these type as well. I think they're called light reflectors, but look. If you would put the bulb in and then plug that in your tree, I think that's what they were for. I'm not sure about this. Probably the same. Yeah, those could work in there as well. Have you ever had any of those or used them on your tree? This bulb did come in the bag as well. And then I have some various tags here. 
this one has four on the same one and I just thought that angel was very very precious actually I like all four of these very much but it says blessed Christmas isn't she sweet and then the cute little doggy and this one says best wishes so do you remember back when you would give a gift and tie on a little tag like this maybe for a shower a wedding shower or a birthday or whatever this was hands down my favorite item in the bag. I just think this is adorable. It's very unique. I've never seen anything like it. It looks like maybe it came off of something that it was attached to. What does it say? Made in Hong Kong. See the staples right here? So I don't know. Have you ever seen anything like that? And do you know where it comes from? Oh, there's another doggy tag. And this is super precious. It's very old, but that will be going up in my winter decor when I decorate with snowmen. I just think that is super sweet. It's very tiny too. So that's everything from bag three. And lastly, this is what was in bag number four. I think these are little bingo markers. I thought those would be fun to decorate with. And then look at this precious little Santa ornament. Isn't he sweet? with the little sequins and look at his little face super cute all of the same tags in this one there wasn't any variety it looks like a little snowman look at this precious little teeny tiny deer love him and then this ornament well is it an ornament it's a little figurine, I would say. She is what drew me to the bag. I just think she is super cute. And let's see, it says on the bottom, X-9750. I'm gonna guess that seems like a home co marking, but she surely doesn't look like home co, so I don't know. I might have to do some research on her just to see. But that's everything from bag number four. I would love to know if any of these items caught your eye and what your favorite items from my grab bags were. Let me know in the comments below. I decided not to wait till next year to try out my bottle brush trees here. This is in my half bathroom and I just think they look really cute here. I hope you had fun seeing what I got for Christmas and I'm looking forward to decorating with most of these items next year since it was mostly all Christmas stuff. If you'd like to follow me on Instagram, I'll link that below. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.